In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. When our Lord enters Jerusalem, the people treat him like a conquering general, as so he is. But he comes riding on a donkey and not a horse. Today, briefly, let us consider the three attributes of a donkey as described by St. Francis de Sales. A donkey is, first of all, humble. Unlike the proud horse, who holds his head up high and carries himself like the prince of all animals, a donkey is not proud. He is nothing fancy to look at. People admire the beauty of a horse. No one admires the appearance of a donkey. Donkey is also patient. Unlike the impatient, proud horse, who has an attitude and certain equine standards, the donkey will endure patiently all sorts of bad treatment. Finally, the donkey is obedient and submissive. It carries a heavy load as a beast of burden and does so without complaint. It will receive a heavy beating if it needs to. Its humility, patience, and submission make it the perfect image of our Lord. Let us call this to mind, good metal image, when we are tempted to ostentation and pride, when we are tempted to show off those little victories in our own life, we who are not the king of the world, not the conquering savior. How easily, though, do we want to mount a proud horse when we're congratulated, when we do something well? How often do we nourish our pride also when we suffer? We complain, we point out the great injustice that has been done against us, which is another way of once again trying to mount that proud horse, refusing to ride on that donkey that our Lord chooses. Our Lord again, who by all rights deserved the greatest entry to Jerusalem, deserved to be recognized as king of the whole universe. And if we struggle with this, we who are sinners deserving of punishment. Our Lord was perfect, perfectly innocent, perfectly powerful, also perfectly victorious. We wish that others would treat us well, that they would see Christ in us, but we must be willing to let him be seen in us. Every time we mount that proud horse, he is obscured. Every time we choose to come in on a donkey, every time we are humble, patient, and obedient, he is better seen in us. Of course, do not expect a party for this, or always to be loved. The more you humble yourself like Christ, the more Christ's enemies will be your enemies. We notice that despite his humble entry into Jerusalem, this did nothing to lessen the hatred of the Jews. And just so, hopefully, in the practice of humility, you are able to win over some of your enemies, hopefully all of them, that'd be great. But it is likely that others, inspired by the devil, in hatred of humility even, will only attack you the more They may even be angry with you because you have proven them wrong. No one likes to be proven wrong. But be humble anyway. In temptations to pride, which afflict us daily, remember Christ's entry to Jerusalem. If he who deserved all the exaltation of the whole world chose to enter on a humble animal, how much more ought we to humble ourselves in our trifling victories and in our minor defeats. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.